Okay, by popular demand, subsurface scattering in Blender. We don't have a shader for it, but we have a fake method of doing it. And it is just as good, probably faster. It is amazing, and it looks good. So, let's give it a shot here. I have the Happy Buddha from the Stanford model repository. I imported this uh, using the PLY X importer in Blender. Took about two minutes to import this thing because it has about half a million vertices. Okay, I'm gonna start a camera up here. Uh, control Alt, number pad key zero, and I'm going to pause and render just to give you an idea, idea of what we're looking at. And here we are. Uh, the model has lots of detail, so this should really show what we're trying to do here. And of course, this technique this technique comes from Daedalo 3D, the makers of Make Human. Uh, you can go on their site uh, and read about it, read about this technique and why it works this way. But I'm just going to show you straightforward how to set it up, how it works. Okay, I'm going to change my lamp. I'm going to have a single lamp here. Right now, it's just a lamp. What I want to do is actually make it a spotlight. It needs to be a spotlight because only spotlights have buffered shadows, and that's where the magic really happens with this technique. Because the subsurf, fake subsurf parts are being generated by buffered shadows. So the first thing I always do is just crank it down. You don't need this much buffer size. Um, the other thing I do is make sure, one, that the light is actually hitting this guy. It's, it has enough distance. Okay, looks good. I'm always a big fan also of getting a little bit more exact and this you'll find is very important this part right here sometimes if you have it too wide it just it basically bleeds out everything too low not enough shows up so you gotta really get it specific and I usually like it just as, just tight around the thing clipping is my thing I like keeping it pretty tight around the guy and usually have the have it go right through so let's give it a shot. Let's see what we got now. And we have the same kind of thing. No big deal. Just want to show that this, the steps we're going through. So the key thing, other than this guy right here, spot size, and the shutter buffer size, of course, is number of samples and the softness. The number of samples just always crank it to the 16. That allows the spotlight to take as much samples as possible of the shadow map, which is going to give that subsurface effect. Softness to me here in this case means more translucency on the edges. If you want skin for instance you keep it low. If you want something like what we're trying to do here I'm going to do jade. You want it crazy high. You have to experiment, try it out, but the higher you go the more translucency you'll get. Uh, the less, uh, probably for skin is better because uh, skin is not as translucent as jade. We can only really hope. So let's give. So I've done that. Crank up the sp soft number of samples. 16. Okay, looks like we're ready. Let's give it a shot. See what happens. And here we go. Almost no change. That's because the light, the buffered shadows that are hitting this thing, are reacting with a certain type of material. We want another kind of material to give the effect. So I'm gonna click on my Buddha. Actually, let me get this up a little here. So my Mabuda, I'm going to add a new material, default. And you can, you can of course, use ray, mirror, ray transparency, experiment, of course. You can use all that. But the key things are here. The diffuse shader needs to be tuned, and at all time, I just max it. All three. Perfect. You know, specular, you can actually manipulate and change. Feel free to. The other key thing here is remove that, remove ambient, and translucency needs to be maxed out. So let's see what happens. Already it looks awesome. This is just using the tune setting. So the tune material, the tune diffuse material, acting with the number of samples and softness from the buffered shadows is creating this effect. Let's go a little bit further. I want my jade material, so I'm going to give my pretty jade green. 
I'm just going to crank this up. You, you can mess with it. Again, play. It's fun. I'm just going to crank it all the way up. And let's see what happens. And there we go. That's it.